G'day, Paul Stockdale here from ABCPE, uh, the site where we make VCE physical education as easy as ABC. And today we're going to talk lactate inflection point or lip. Lip is the highest or final intensity where lactate production and lactate removal are balanced. Lip is, in other words, our highest aerobic steady state. And today, to help us explain, we've got Jazz on the treadmill. Jazz is walking at three kilometres per hour at the moment, well below her lip. And what we're going to do is, in increments, take her up in intensity until we find her lip. And then we're going to go even faster and take her to 21 and a half kilometres. And for those of you uh, unfamiliar with Elliot Kipchoge, that is Elliot's lip, perhaps the greatest middle and long distance runner that there has ever been. Jazz, you ready to go? Yep. Heart rate, please, at three kilometres per hour? 84. 84. And we're going to take that up now. All right, so Jazz has been going now for about three minutes at eight kilometres per hour. Heart rate, please, Jazz? 104. Well below her lip still. Let's put it up again. <laughs> All right, so again, another few minutes at 10 kilometres per hour this time. Heart rate, please, Jazz. 124. And thumbs up or thumbs down, how are you feeling? Oh, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. We're going to ramp it up now to around 14 kilometres an hour, which I think is going to be roughly Jazz's lip. <laughs> All right, so we've been a couple of minutes now at 14 kilometres per hour. Heart rate, Jazz. 147. 147, it's come up quite significantly and we can no longer get a steady state. So we could ascertain that 14 kilometres an hour is probably at or just above lip. That is, that now Jazzy's working pretty hard. She's needing to get increased contributions from her anaerobic glycolysis system. Lactate production is exceeding removal and therefore it's accumulating, which means Jazz is probably gonna have to stop in the next few minutes. And if we go even further above lip, which is what we're about to do, she's probably gonna to need to stop very, very quickly. So we're now gonna go up to 21.5 kilometers per hour. Elia Kipchoge can hold this for 42.2 kilometers straight, but I don't think Jazz can because it's well above her lip. You ready, Jazz? Yeah. So I don't have to go to 21.5. All right, so well done, Jazz. You made it to 21 and a half kilometers per hour. Heart rate at 21 and a half kilometers per hour? It was 190. And while she made it, she couldn't hold that speed and eventually she had to bail out because she was well above her lip. Can you imagine someone running at this speed for 42 kilometres? That's why you can do two hour marathons. So just to summarise, Jazz could get to about 14 kilometres per hour, Elliot Kipchoge 21 and a half kilometres per hour because Elliot has a higher lip. That means that he can work at higher aerobic intensities. Jazz could work that fast, but she needed to get too much help from her anaerobic systems. So Elliot can work at higher aerobic intensities and delay those increased anaerobic contributions. Therefore, he can work or run faster for longer.